Hey, it's me again. It's me again. It's me again, and I'm back with another video featuring not the Sugar Bridges pedal, because today I want to try something different. This is uh, the single cross crossover pedal, which I make, and I'm going to be using this today together with the EBS Multicomp, which I definitely don't make, and um, a LS2 pedal from Boss, which... I uh, will be using just as a mixer because I don't actually have a micro mixer pedal here today. Um, so let me show you how this is wired up. Um, what I've done, I've run the bass into the input. Um, the low frequency out, the red wire, is going to input B, which is coincidentally the red knob. Works nicely. The high frequency output is wired into the multi comp, which I won't be using in multi-compression mode, but in fact, actually normal and tube sim mode. And then that's going to input A. So, um, with it bypassed here, you can see that the low frequencies are going to the low side, and the high frequencies are being split off into the high side, and optionally compressed. And the Multicomp's not a bad compressor, just on its own, for bass. Um, but what I'm doing today is something that was suggested. Um, putting the compression just on the high frequencies. So it's like a multi-compression, but with only half of the compression working. Um, so I suppose you could probably mod a Multicomp to do that. But why would you want to do that? Um, the first thing I noticed is that... Well, actually, we have a special guest today. This is Gracie the Cat. She's going to be assisting me by standing on the pedals while we record. And I noticed that she's also somehow made the um, air conditioning come on. So we're going to have a little air conditioning noise in the background when I speak. Just try to ignore that. So anyway, thank you, Gracie. W would you help me by turning on the compressor? There you go. Now it's in normal mode. So um, when it's bypassed... Um, you can hear. It sounds like a normal bass. In this case, um, the Fender Dimension bass with <clears throat> with uh, Ernie Ball flats, and it's pretty normal. So as we compress the high frequencies, it's very subtle. Um, it brings out the highs without really sounding compressed. If you compress it a lot, it starts to sound kind of squashed in the mid-range without really any definition. And I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe we could use it to just... Just compress just the shimmery part. Get a little more uh, sustain out of the flats, which are already pretty sustainy because they're the, the slinky flats. But and then turning that back off. on what you're doing. Maybe this is something you could just get by turning up the treble. Which I mean, we could bypass it and just turn up the treble. So maybe all I'm really accomplishing here is adding more treble. Let me see the little compression lights going. Let's see. 
so subtle. Like the difference is really, really subtle. The tube sim mode. Which I like, but which I think sounds a little honky when it's just full range anyway. just the neck pickup now. It just gives it a bit of... just a tiny bit of extra mid-range sustain. find that useful. I think I'm going to be using this um, more for clean playing and uh, not so much, um, you know, as a, a super sustained kind of effect with rounds. Um, I don't know exactly what works there. Maybe a different compressor. Anyway, um, bye. <laughs>